Hello everyone, in this video, let us automatically add a comment to linked issues using script runner for Jira. So previously we worked on a code where we basically added a comment on a linked issue and so far we have been working on uh, this code, this very simple piece of code where we are trying to fetch the issue, then we are trying to fetch the linked issues and uh, then we are also trying to create a comment on those linked issues. So this code is uh, working fine and uh, uh, although this is not the perfect code, we also need to always ensure that we do some uh, error handling. Like for example, if you are uh, doing something uh, in Jira, maybe with issues or maybe with comments or you're trying to fetch something, make sure that the uh, issue or the comment or whatever you're trying to do is valid because this code will not know until it is run whether the issue exists or not. So let us uh, talk about error handling maybe later. But uh, what I wanted to show you today is how we can use the same piece of code uh, and also uh, basically make sure that whenever you add a comment on your source issue, the comment is automatically added to your uh, linked issues. So previously we discussed that if you have, let us say one issue, which is your parent, let us in this case, uh, Android 124 is the source issue. We first fetch the blocked and uh, duplicate issues and these are nothing but these two are nothing but my my outward link so basically these li these are linked so the, basically the direction of uh, these issues are uh, uh, from this issue android 124 to these issues so we worked on the outward links and uh, we added a comment here uh, like the, the the most recent comment so for example if i add a comment here uh, this is a comment on my source and uh, we will now use a listener. So if I add a comment here, using the code, using the code that we uh, have been writing so far, if I, by the way, I'm using console and in this particular piece of code, I am uh, hard coding my issue 124. So I'm making sure that I'm working on this specific issue 124. Uh, and uh, I'm fetching the most recent comment of issue 124 android 124 and then i'm simply adding this comment to my uh, linked issues of type uh, outward link so to run this code i will simply click on the run button and uh, this will return me these two issues and uh, if i quickly go back to so we're talking about android 118 and 95 so let me go to my android 118 i refresh it i'll also refresh the other one so this, this is something that we have seen uh, already. So uh, in this video, I want to show you how we can do it automatically. So you can see here that this, this code is now added here in both the issues, hopefully. So yes, we have the, issue, uh, we have the comment. So let us copy this whole piece of code. Uh, I will copy this whole piece of code. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that whenever I add a comment on this parent, uh, instead of manually using the console and clicking on the run button, I want to make sure that any comment added on this issue is automatically copied to these two linked issues. So for doing this, we need to use a listener in, in a script runner and a listener is nothing but uh, uh, a listener that will listen for uh, something. It could be an event on the issue. So to create a new listener, you can uh, click on the button, create a listener and uh, you do have some listeners out of the box, like built in listeners. Uh, we have listeners like uh, ver version synchronizer, create a subtask, but let us create a custom listener now. And to create a cu custom listener, you first need to specify the project, uh, whether you want this listener to be applicable on all the projects. It is a good idea to just limit it to your own project, let us say Android development. Uh, and then you have to specify the event. So my event is uh, issue created. Uh, not sorry, not issue created, comment created. So I'll probably type in comment. So you can see here that we have this event issue commented and then we have to we have to basically type in the script. So we can copy the script as it is. And uh, let me expand this. So this code is fine. It, ha it has been working, but 
right now we don't really know the issue key here because uh, when it will listen for the events issue created in a specific project uh, this is not really applicable because uh, although it will work it should work but uh, we need to know the actual issue because instead of 124 it can be any issue where comment is added and uh, to basically fetch the uh, so basically right now we're talking about the comment created and the comment is usually not usually but comment is created on an issue and uh, we need to know the issue here so when you're working with the script owner you have the concept of bindings so binding is basically uh, so basically if you click on this question mark here it will show you some information let me try to do it so if you go up up, you will find that we have some available binding variables so basically it will tell you that uh, for this particular listener so when you're working with listeners you have this event so you can basically use this uh, event uh, this this event uh, uh, variable and uh, you can then uh, possibly fetch the issue uh, re retrieve the issue where that event is happening so let us go back to the code and if you uh, type in here event and if i do control space hopefully it will uh, give me some information yes uh, so if i can probably find something like issue maybe so yes we do have an issue and it will ret return an issue so i can simply pass in this event dot issue to a variable called issue i believe and uh, this seems to be working because I, I don't see any error and rest of the code should be as it is i believe i can probably remove my return uh, usually when you're working with listeners it is always a good idea to have some logs so that whenever this listener is working you have some entries in the log files so you can preview it but it won't really show you anything right now uh, it might it can but uh, let us quickly test it and we have this new custom listener and right now it says has not run yet let me go back to my uh, main issue my issue my Android 124 it can be any issue where you have links by the way so let us add uh, a new comment here so this is a comment for testing a listener so when you add a comment here as per the code it should find the outward links all the outward links and it will it should basically add a comment so let us refresh this Android 118 and uh, Android 95. So if I go to my Android 118, we do have a comment here that is uh, coming automatically. And you can imagine the use cases. Uh, let me also check for Android 95. So you have this comment here. This is great. If I go back to my listeners in, uh, and if I refresh this, the good thing about listener is that it will basically tell you if the listeners are working fine or not, whether there was an event or not. So if you notice here, uh, it says no failures in the last one execution. So it means that there was one event that was uh, triggered, I believe. And it will tell you this information about uh, the success of the of the listener. So there is a green tick here. It means that it worked, I believe. And if you click on it, you can see some log entries. If if you are doing some log entries, right now we are not doing any log entries. You can, do, you can take a look at the payload. Uh, so this can be useful for uh, understanding the inform uh, what exactly is getting uh, passed or uh, basically the payload of your code. Uh, in, the, in our case, it is usually the uh, like right now we are talking about the comment. We also have the timing information. So this can be useful because when you are working on these listeners and you are doing something in bulk, you may want to know how long it is taking uh, for improving the performance. So this is all i wanted to share in this uh, video uh, you can imagine the use case here for example if you have some automation maybe you have tickets linked from jira service test to jira software maybe you want to automatically copy the information from one issue to another issue right now we talked about comment which is still a good start because uh, uh, you want to know maybe a different team that you are doing something you can also do other things with your linked issues like auto transitioning them right now this piece of code is of course uh, very basic and fundamental but uh, you can always add your error handling and improve it 
so i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you very much